Welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 25th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol in the top right hand corner. This week begins so dramatically. Not only does Venus prepare to make its way into the sign of Capricorn, which occurs on Tuesday, we also still have Mars in opposition to Uranus. This combination creates a, an awful lot of electricity. Mars is impulsive, it's impatient, and in the sign of Scorpio, it's about desire. Uranus on the other side of the heavens in the sign of Taurus is about bringing innovation to our approach to self-worth and also money. So when it comes to resources, we could find ourselves feeling more impulsive. Then again, it could be around a romantic situation where there's an electric intensity that pushes us perhaps to do something in the moment rather than necessarily thinking about it. Venus moving into Capricorn is though a very stabilizing transit. By the end of this week, it's inching closer towards Ceres, the asteroid that's to do with nurture. And in the sign of Capricorn, this combination can be a stabilizing antidote to the electricity that Mars and Uranus are creating. And also Venus itself starts to link brilliantly with Uranus. So this can be a time when we can be a little bit more uh, creative in our approach to situations, but also it points towards being open-minded about the type of person or people we can find interesting to be with. Of course, Venus and Mars are then forging a lovely sextile from the middle of this week through to the end of the week, which can be so enhancing for all relationships. But there is a new moon which occurs on Tuesday too in the sign of Sagittarius. And that's asking us all to be open-minded, free-spirited, to embrace the more individualistic side of our nature and also just perhaps think about the way in which we can add greater variety to our existence. However, by the end of the week, Saturn and Pluto are getting closer together. It's a four degree gap. Usually I take into account three degrees, but that's just reminding us of the awesome power of this combination, which are watching over all of the events beneath them, if you like, in terms of the more interactive personal, uh, personal planets. But I do feel that this week can be a week of excitement, a week of drama, and it can be on the relationship front. It could be about our approach to resources or business, or the type of people that we spend time with. But the one thing it's not going to be is dull. Your specific forecast, Gemini, suggests that with the new moon in your sector of relating on Tuesday, the good vibe that was building up last week with Venus's conjunction to Jupiter can be augmented by this. And the next four weeks could see you very mindful about relationships. But there's more than this because Venus, the planet of love and attraction, but also money attraction, moves out of your sector of relating and into your sector of deep and rather uh, powerful uh, commitment, the eighth house. And also it links with Uranus, which is in your 12th house. I think you could be quite surprised about where your romantic attention starts to go from here on in. It may be that the person that you're drawn to isn't somebody that you're in contact with at the moment, but Uranus being in the mix suggests you could find yourself really thinking about the different strategies you could use in order to reach out. Then again, a spontaneous connection is entirely possible with Uranus in opposition to Mars and also Venus and Mars themselves forging a beautiful link in the second half of this week. But if you are more focused on the more tangible strands of life, i.e. money, paying for Christmas, or improving a business that you're involved with, I do feel that the direction of travel is very positive for you, but it does perhaps call upon you to just be tuned in to past experiences and skills 
and being as open-minded as possible, things can just happen in a very dazzling and unexpected way at this period of time. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.